and run making at Hollywood Park. Peterson is the winner. And it's Noah getting up, winning it. And they're off. And running. Fox is going and up. And running away. David Diver by five. Jack Jack and Fred Jordan. Cougar on the right. Jack Jack and Fred Jordan. 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 Jack
The first of a stakes triple header in the third race, five and a half furlongs, 48th running Willard Proctor Memorial Stakes. $100,000 purse for two-year-olds. Scratch number two, Forest Boy. Number six, Amorish, an impressive maiden debut winner, the three to five choice. Undrafted, an impressive maiden winner, first time out of the box at Keeneland, second choice at eight to five. Julio Garcia appears to ride for Wesley Ward. Field of seven, Vic Stoffer with the call, the Willard Proctor Memorial Stakes. They're at the post. They're up. Amorish and run to ground break well. Marino's mine and undrafted close up. Love Meister moves through at the rail. K Court and just call me Al at the back of the pack. Run to ground has the lead. Amorish is trying to get out pretty badly up the back stretch. He's a handful for Edwin Maldonado, probably because he took hold of him as run to ground leads three quarters of a length. Amorish is in the three path leaving the back stretch. Marino's mine up drafted and Love Meister at the rail all two from the front. And Amorish makes his move and puts a head in front. Just Call Me Al races in six with six lengths to make up, and Kate Court is the trailer and the new leader at the quarter pole. Of the 48th, Willard Proctor Memorial Stakes is Amrish. Undrafted comes to take him on at the top of the stretch, and Amrish leads by a length. Undrafted is second, now three and a half lengths to Marino's Mind. Just Call Me Al, and Amrish comes past mid stretch, and now he's straight, and now he's strong. Amrish runs away and leads by four. Marino's mind looks like he'll get into second, but Amrish is going to take them to the wire on top. The 48th Willard Proctor Memorial Stakes goes to Amrish. He won by five. Marino's mind was second and undrafted. Finished third. The favorite Amrish smokes home in the Proctor. An impressive win by this two-year-old gelded son of the hot sire Scat Daddy. Owned by Jerry Durant, trained by Jeff Bondi, Edwin Maldonado aboard. $3.40. Second long shot, Marino is mine. Finishing third was undrafted. Trifecta 71-20. Final time for the Proctor, a good 104 and 2. We'll take a break, come back with a fourth. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Saturday's fourth race in a mile and one eighth on the turf, an allowance race with an optional claiming tag of $100,000. Scratch number four, Hamish High. Number five, Norvsky, the odds on choice at four to five. Number six, Interaction, first start for Ron McAnally, first start of the year, second choice in the wagering. Field of five, went a mile and eighth on the grass in race number four. They're at the post. They're off. Hogs Hollow broke running and goes for the front. Romp is sent through from the inside, though, and Romp is going to take the early lead. Hogs Hollow and Venomous now second and third. Norvsky just in behind those two, and Venomous is rank at the rail. He's tough to handle. The early trailer is interaction. So Romp's the leader as he rides the rail into the clubhouse turn, and he's two lengths in front of Hogs Hollow. Venomous has settled down now. He's in the red cap third at the rail and about two and a half off the lead. Norvsky gallops along in fourth with four lengths to make up, and he's two in front of World Traveler Interaction, fifth and last and six lengths behind long shot Romp as they turn into the back stretch. Romp is the leader. He's a length and a half in front of Hogs Hollow and Venomous, now pretty much together second and third. Norvsky gallops along in fourth, and he's about four lengths off the lead and two lengths further back to Interaction. Now five and a half, first to last as they're up the back stretch. Romp continues to lead. He gallops along, now just three quarters of a length in front of Hogs Hollow, who's a bit closer in second. Venomous backs off. He's clear third now and a length and a half from the front. Norvsky in striking position if he's good enough. Now three and a half from the lead. And Interaction is the trailer. They've been that way since they sprung the gates and Romp's the leader. Romp goes to the quarter pull. Now the pressure is turned up by Hogs Hollow in second. To the outside, Interaction going to be four wide. Norvsky's just inside of him. Venomous is at the rail. And any one of the five can win Hogs Hollow and Romp. Venomous tries to come through at the rail. Interaction and Norvsky and the five of them come to the wire. Look at this race and it's a good one. 
Norvsky puts his shadow roll just in front. Romp is battling on. Interaction to the outside. These three to the wire. And Interaction and Norvsky will decide it. And Interaction, I think, did it. It's a bob of the noses. Interaction and Norvsky. Romp ran a great third. Venom is fourth. Horses spread across the course, a tight three-way photo finish in the fourth. The nod goes to Brees Blanc and interaction on the far outside. Argentinian bred, six-year-old, first start in the McAnally Barn, first start of the year, six wins and 15 tries, $8.80. Norsky was second, Romp ran well on the lead, held third. That trifecta, $45 and a dime, final time, 148 and four. On to race number five, the start of the pick six. No carryover, six furlongs, three rolls and up, a claiming price of $20,000. Very good competitive race. The lukewarm favorite draws the far outside. Circle drive went postward at five to two. They're at the post. They're off. Vader Tory and Master Chef break best. Sir Hamilton away third. Position A and circle drive. Then format V, and the trailer is me salty. Master Chef going to make the lead from Vader Tory up the back stretch. Master Chef now a length in front. Vader Tory is second, a length and a half to Sir Hamilton racing third. Then it's a gap of four lengths to me salty. Position A and circle drive all about seven off the lead. And the trailer now is format V, nine lengths behind Master Chef, three furlongs from the wire. Master Chef leads Vader Tory by a length and a quarter. Sir Hamilton is continuing to race third, and he's two and a half from the front. Position A, Circle Drive, and Me Salty all have five lengths to make up now, and Format V has trailed throughout. Master Chef, the leader at the top of the stretch. Master Chef still three quarters in front of Vader Tory, who has every chance to outfinish him. Then comes Sir Hamilton, who backs out. Circle Drive, five from the front, and Master Chef has turned away Vader Tory, and Master Chef is now three lengths in front. Vader Tory, Sir Hamilton, Format V flies late. Master Chef wins. Master Chef won by three and a quarter. Vader Torrey got second. Format V rallied from last to just nip. Sir Hamilton for third. Make it two wins on the card for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer. Master Chef, a gilded son of Vronsky, bred in California. Scores nicely, holding off Valdatore the length of the stretch, $8.40. Third was number three, Format V. Did have a claim in the race to winner Master Chef. Goes to Mark Glatt for $20,000. That early pick $555.75. Final time, 110 flat. On to race number six. Six furlongs on the turf. Maidens and a field of 11 went to the gate. Good purse of $50,000. Number five, Falcons thrown. Gelded since his last start. Number six, U.S. Citizen, a first time starter, hammered in the wagering. Seven to two on the line, off as the even money choice. They're at the post. They're off. U.S. Citizen and Troy Story, English Prep close up, Warriors Ridge in the center. Falcons thrown and Rahi's Reflection. Rahi's Reflection checked and checked hard. As in fact, Rahi's Reflection looked like he was going to pull him up, but he's not. But boy, did he lose a bunch of ground. Dashing Ash is next. Then Davidius and Monster hit with Mezcal and Northern Force. And Rahi's Reflection is now at the back of the pack. Running up the back stretch, U.S. Citizen and English Prep, one, two. U.S. Citizen, a half length in front of English Prep in the second. Warriors Ridge from his outside gate is at the rail now for Martin Garcia, two and a half off the lead. Troy Story joined by Dash Shing Ash. They're both about five from the front, a three back, two. Falcons thrown, then Monster hit, followed by Mezcal, Davidius, and Northern Force, and Rahi's reflection was pulled up mid-stretch with U.S. Citizen the leader, but here's Warriors Ridge to come through and challenge. U.S. Citizen uh, length in front. Warriors Ridge is second, English prep third. Troy Story fourth, U.S. Citizen wins. U.S. Citizen won by better than two. Warriors Ridge was second, English prep third, and Troy Story finished fourth. Bet like a horse that couldn't lose, he didn't. U.S. Citizen, a well-meant first-timer, beautiful son of proud citizen out of the magic ring mare magic of love, owned by Harper B. Stable, Rafael Bejarano up for Marty Jones, $4.20, an easy win. Good try by the runner-up, Warriors Ridge, and then a ways back to the third horse, English Prep. That pick three, $46.40, final time, six furlongs on the grass in 110 flat. We'll take a timeout, come back with the 50th running of the Cinderella Stakes. 
Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Saturday's seventh, the second of three stakes on the card, 50th running of the Cinderella Stakes, $100,000 purse for two-year-old fillies and a field of nine. Number five, Tilda, comes off a good maiden win with Rafael Bejarano, the second choice at three to one. Unusual way romped in her only start. Daughter of unusual heat is the nine to five choice as Bondi and Maldonado try to sweep the two-year-old stakes. Vic Stoffer, 50th running, Cinderella Stakes. They're up. Tilda breaks well, so does Awesome Annie. Awesome Kitten is between horses. Those three very fast. Miss Empire, Glory and Prayer, unusual way in the center. Emotional Kitten is next, and Ah Golly Molly is the trailer. It is Awesome Annie and Awesome Kitten. These two on match strides. Annie's inside in the white cap. Kitten's outside in the burgundy. Then it's a length and a quarter to a lineup of four. Tilda, Glory and Prayer, Miss Empire, and Unusual Way, who will be four wide. Setting on Ready is racing in seventh now and about seven lengths behind. Then Emotional Kitten with eight to come. And the trailer is Ah Golly Molly and the leader is Awesome Annie. Awesome Annie has put away Awesome Kitten at the top of the stretch. Miss Empire catches the eye in the pink. She moves up into second. Tilda's now fourth but three lengths behind and they come to the final furlong of the 50th Cinderella. And here's Miss Empire to swing shot right by. Miss Empire takes the lead and she's now two and a half lengths in front of Awesome Annie and Tilda, and Miss Empire gonna run away for Kevin Krieger, Miss Empire, yes. The 50th Cinderella Stakes goes to Miss Empire. She won by five. Awesome Annie was second, Tilda third, oh, golly molly, finished fourth. Nice ride by Kevin Krieger, bided his time with Miss Empire. She was always traveling well, finally got some room and drew off to a convincing score. Trained by Peter Miller for the owners, Barber, Barber Shuzahara, Miss Empire, a daughter of Empire Maker out of the mayor Miss Excitement. That makes her a half-sister to the grade one stakes winning sprinter, Borden Arrow. $19.80, second Awesome Annie, and third was Tilda. That trifecta, $291.50. In the winner's circle, one of the good guys at Hollywood Park, promotions manager George Ortizar presents a trophy to the winning connections of the Cinderella Stakes. Final time, 105 flat. On to race number eight, a mile on the turf, kicking off the final pick three, an allowance race, optional claiming price of $62,500. Scratch number one, tippity tap tap. Scratch number nine, fire with fire. Scratch number 11, hunting man. Post time favorite number eight, Atticus Jack from the Bryan Corner Barn. Vic Stauffer with the call of race eight. They're at the post. And they're off. Key decision is asked for speed. Acadian is sharp early, but key decision wanted the lead and takes it. Acadian, Romeo Royale, Atticus Jack, and Surrey Star now next. Then comes Unusual Jazz, followed by Massoni and Alejandro. Key decision aggressive to the backstretch, and he sprints along. Key decision two lengths in front of Acadian in second. Surrey Star sits at the rail just inside of Atticus Jack. Those two four from the front. Romeo Royale in the pink, fifth with six lengths to make up. Unusual Jazz just outside of him. Alejandro has nine lengths to make up, and he's three in front of Massoni at the back of the pack as they head up the back stretch. Key decision continues aggressive to the half mile pole with a two length lead over Acadian and Atticus Jack, right together second and third. Surrey Star is pushed along just a bit by Chantal, now about five behind and in fourth. Unusual Jazz has eight lengths to make up. Alejandro is 10 off the lead. Massoni has 13 to come. Romeo Royale is the trailer. They leave the backstretch. Key decision continues to lead. And he continues sharp at the quarter pole. Two lengths in front of Acadian. The whip is out on Atticus Jack. Surrey Star rides the rail. Unusual way. Now five from the lead. Then Alejandro who closes in. Key decision. The one to catch. Key decision. Two lengths in front of Acadian in second. Massoni's coming up the rail. He's into third now. But he's six lengths behind. Key decision. Who continues to roll. Key decision. All the way to win. 
He was just faster at every pole. Key decision one by two. Acadia in second. Surrey Star third. Close for fourth. That is Masoni third. Close for fourth. Surrey Star and Atticus Jack. Second start in the U.S. Blinkers added. A rider change to Victor Espinosa. All adds up to a victory for the Argentinian bred. Key decision for that man, A.C. Avila. Key decision, $18.60. Acadian second best. Third was Masone. Trifecta, $194.40. There was a claim to favorite Atticus Jack. Four-way shake to Ted West for $62,500. Final time, 134 and one We'll take a break. Come back with a grade one vanity. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Saturday's feature race, the 71st running of the Grade 1 Vanity Handicap. $250,000 purse at a mile and one-eighth. Phillies and Mares three and up on the main track. Number two, Include Me Out, shoots for her fourth straight graded stakes win. She's the odds-on choice at three to five. Scratch number three, Zazu. Scratch number eight, Ella Fitz. A field of six, Vic Stoffer with the call. The Grade 1 Vanity Handicap. They're off. Rock and Glory breaks best, goes for the lead. Include me out right alongside Atlantic Swing and Kalis in the center. Four pretty much across the track early. Then comes Zephine's Pearl, and the early trailer is Love the Way You Are. Rock and Glory didn't corner that well. Drifted out to the three path, but she's got the lead to the back stretch. A length and a half in front of Kalis in second. Include me out. Stays at the rail. Third and two from the front. Atlantic swing just outside of her. Then it's a big gap of eight or nine lengths back to Zafine's Pearl. And Love the Way You Are is 13 behind as they turn into the back stretch. In the 71st, Vanity Handicap, Rock and Glory, and Martin Garcia set the pace. Three quarters of a length in front of Kalis, who tracks in second. Atlantic swing is tugging at Mario Gutierrez. Races in third and less than a length and a half from the front. Here's Atlantic swing to force the hand of Kalis. Kalis and those two are going to run alongside Rock and Glory. Meanwhile, Include Me Out is now behind three going into the far turn. Joe Talamo has to be licking his chops as Include Me Out is about to take third because Rock and Glory is gone. She is backed out of it. So that lands Kalis and Atlantic Sling. But here comes Include Me Out without being asked. And she's going to run up and take over the front when they get to the quarter pole. Then comes five back to Zafine's Pearl, and the trailer is Rock and Glory. And at the top of the stretch, Include Me Out has taken over charge, and she is cantering up front. Include Me Out to the final furlong, a three and a half length lead. Love the Way You Are has moved up nicely and takes over second. And Love the Way You Are is closing. Include Me Out, here comes Love the Way You Are. And Love the Way You Are has run by. Include Me Out. Love the way you are wins the 71st vanity. Include me out. Absolutely no excuse. She had nothing for the final 16th. It is very close for third between Zafine's Pearl and Kalis. A big upset in the grade one vanity handicap. Number five, love the way you are from last to first. First time for jockey Garrett Gomez on his four-year-old filly. She's by Arch out of a Tabasco cat mare named Diversa. Owned by M.K. Cho Stables, trained by Meng Kuang Cho and assistant Maria Ayala. Love the way you are, $38 even. The favorite include me out, perfectly ridden by Joe Talamo, finishing second. Third was number six, Zaffine's Pearl. In the winner's circle to present the trophy to the winning connections, racing secretary here at Hollywood Park, Martin Panza, with the winning connections of the Grade 1 Vanity Handicap. Pick three, almost $5,000. Final time, one fifty-one flat. Tenth and final wraps up the card. Maiden claimers at seven furlongs, a claiming price of $20,000. Number three, bright eyed and bushy tail bet down to the eight to five choice as Gomez looks for the late double. Scratch number four, swift anticipation. Scratch number eight, Willetta. Big Field closed out the card at seven furlongs with super high five wagering. Vic Stoffer with the call. They're at the post. 
They're up. Good start. Unusual jewel and truly a miss. Through from the inside goes Sweet Juju. Sing and Swing is close up, and so is Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail. Freckles Galore is next. Then Jenrin fits me. Burskell is midfield. Agreed Upon is next. Then Miss Purple Rain and Lovely Sophia. And the trailer is Then There Was You. Joy Scott and Sweet Juju up the back stretch. A length and a quarter in front of Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail in second. Then comes Unusual Jewel to move through at the rail. Burskell is three wide. Sing and Swing is in that mix as well, and two from the front. Freckles Galore has five lengths to make up. Agreed upon is six from the lead, as is Jenrin Fitzme. Truly a Mist has eight to make up. Lovely Sophia just outside of her. Then There Was You is at the back of the pack and not cornering. And the trailer is Miss Purple Rain, and they run around the far turn, and Sweet Juju has been passed by two. Unusual Jewel and Bright-Eyed and Bushy-Tail. Burskell is about to take third and two and a half off the lead. Then Sing and Swing and Freckles Galore. Top of the stretch, Unusual Jewel is the leader. It's three quarters of a length in front of Bright-Eyed and Bushy-Tail, who has every chance to get by. Unusual Jewel, Bright-Eyed and Bushy-Tail. Now right alongside, and new leader, Bright-Eyed and Bushy-Tail takes over the lead. Unusual Jewel is next. Burskell, Sing and Swing for minor awards. Lovely Sophia, Bright-Eyed and Bushy-Tail. Bright-Eyed and Bushy-Tail won by three and a half. Unusual Jewel was second. Sing and Swing third. Lovely Sophia fourth. Burskell fifth. The favorite Bright-Eyed and Bushy-Tail always traveling best scores in a tenth and final race. Garrett Gomez sweeps the late double. This one for trainer George Papadromo, daughter of High Bright, bred by Yakutis Enterprises, Bright-Eyed and Bushy-Tail. Five dollars and twenty cents. Forty-four to one long shot. Unusual Jewel was second. Third was Sing and Swing. Trifecta over $1,300, pick three, $817. Super high five, nobody had it. A Sunday carryover of $28,551. Late pick four, winning tickets good for $7,293.10. Into pick six, nobody had all six. Sunday carryover, $101,489. Five out of six, $1,674.80. Place pick all, perfect tickets good for $604.40. Scratches on the Sunday card in the sixth race take out the one Jerzino, the 13 Duganville, and the 14 Cahill Report. Again, a Sunday pick six carryover, just over $101,000. That'll do it for Saturday racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. Back up and running on Sunday, first post at 1 o'clock for a good nine race program and an outstanding feature race for Phillies and Mares, the Desert Stormer. Until Sunday, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. See you back soon at Betfair Hollywood Park.